Today I want to talk to you guys about flipping houses out of state and how we can target a very unique niche that you probably didn't even think about. This is your show. This is the show where I work for you directly, taking your needs. I'm going through the MLS and I'm trying to find the best possible deal for you guys. Put down 25%. That's the perfect way to buy this. That's why real estate investing is the greatest industry in the world. Hey everyone, welcome to another episode of the MLS Search and Analysis Show. You're watching Holton Wise TV and I'm your host James Wise and this property is a property that I'm going to help my real estate investor Lisa flip. Lisa, I uh, was originally planning on doing four videos for you today. I already got you all four of those. I sent those to you. Uh, but then I just decided I had to do this one for you as well. 7101 Brownfield Drive, Parm, Ohio. It's been on the market for 10 days, and it's listed at $115,000. Now, there is two reasons that I had to do this video for you. Right? I was going to call it at four. Uh, but the two reasons I wanted to do this one for you is the first, uh, this is the last property that I saw in Parma that fits the specific niche that I'm targeting for you, right? To recap, what I want to do for you, Lisa, is find you homes in suburbs that are entry-level suburbs for owner-occupied buyers. What that means is these are the cheapest suburbs that owner-occupied buyers are living in, right? This particular suburb, a lot of the houses are in the hundred and thirty dollars to $150,000 range, okay? What is cool about these particular suburbs is the prices are determined by owner-occupied buyers, right? They're not determined by tenants and investors, right? That's what happens in the C-class markets, right? So we're right right outside the C-class markets. When this is like the cheapest market where you see owner-occupied, right? Owner-occupied buyers driving that market, right? And what I wanted to do was target properties that had tenants in them, right? Because the tenants in them kill the seller's chance at selling the property for the, the correct price, an appropriate price, because owner-occupied people, the people that are driving that market, they're not interested in it because there's a freaking tenant in it, right? You can't move your family into a house when there's a tenant in it. You can't do easy showings when there's a tenant in it, right? We're talking about trying to do easy showings with a tenant in the property during COVID times. Are you fucking insane? That makes no sense, right? So that would leave the other buyer group. That would leave owner the investors right the investors would be the other buyer group right but here's the thing because the prices in this market are are driven so much higher by owner occupants it makes no sense for investors to buy in this particular area right like this one they're asking hundred and fifteen thousand dollars the listing agent did not even bother giving us the tenant's rent. There's a tenant in there on a month-to-month -month, uh, lease. Didn't even give us the rent, but I'll tell you what, guys. It's usually between like 800 and and 1000 That's what these properties are renting for, right? No investor's going to pay hundred and fifteen k for a eight hundred, nine hundred, one thousand dollar a month rental makes no fucking sense because you could just go to a C class neighborhood and get a thousand dollars a month rental for like seventy five k, right? So the four properties I targeted for you earlier today all fell under this criteria. So did this one. This is the the last one I saw in the city of Parma. Uh, where we can exploit this little inefficiency in the market, right? So I just to clarify, like you asked me to make you some videos and I shot you five. I don't want you thinking since I shot you five at once that like there's like hundreds of these available in Parma. Parma's got like 80,000 residents and currently on the market right now, the five that I sent you are the only five where you and I can slide in and exploit this inefficiency. So I just wanted to get all five out to you, right? That is the first reason I sent you this. And let me just show you the pictures real quick and go over the numbers. Then I'll get into the second reason, right? So just uh, another standard uh, Parma bungalow and everything is just super dated, right? It's just like your granny's house. So that's what I wanted to do. Find these properties where they're being hurt, not because they're distressed, but because they're A, a little bit outdated and B, because they have a tenant. And in this particular market, the tenant is going to reduce the value. And then we could go in and just knock out a very, very simple renovation and make over 20K, right? So on this one, just like a couple of the ones I sent you, I want you to spend 90K acquiring the property. Then I want to spend twenty thousand five hundred on a very, very simple cosmetic reno. Getting rid of Granny's kitchen, getting rid of Granny's bathroom, getting rid of Granny's paint colors. Right, neutral, modern decor. 
refinished hardwoods, matching vinyl allure flooring in the kitchen and the bath, new Home Depot Lowe's quality uh, kitchen countertops and cabinetry with an entry-level stainless steel appliance package, modern vanity and tub shower surround in the bath, right? That's a $20,500 reno. Then we'll be able to sell the property for $145K. After commissions and closing costs, that should net you, Lisa, approximately $23,000, right? I'm aiming for a $22,900 property. Profit, right this is almost identical to two of the four videos I sent you today right that's the great thing about these little easy quick parma flips I found for you not a lot of moving parts very predictable very simple very easy renovations right like this particular home the bones they're in good shape right if you read some of the stuff uh, that the listing agent wrote right Bring your personal touch and make this home yours. Home has hardwood floors throughout, an eating kitchen, and many built-ins. The home features many recent updates. HVAC slash AC within the last five years. Hot water tank in the last three years. The garage is extra deep for all your extra storage needs and has been recently rewired. Home is centrally located in the heart of Parma, close to all the shops at Parma and public transport transportation. This home is ready for you and your family, except for it's not ready for your family because there's a goddamn tenant in there, guys, right? That's why they're not going to get that 115. That's why, Lisa, we're going to squeeze in, try to pick it up for 90 and make you a cool $23,000. And, of course, the Holton Wise team, we will handle that whole renovation and we will handle the property management of that tenant. We'll acquire it with the tenant in there and we will manage that tenant, collect that tenant's rent until we remove that tenant and then we will flip the home for you, right? Now, because it was so perfect and because it's the last one that fit that little niche I've planned out for you, that was reason number one I wanted to get you this video. Reason number two is because you had asked me a question about uh, lead-based paint, and I realized in the previous videos that I never got around to answering that for you, so I want to do that now. Now, you've already gone through uh, HoltonWise.com, our FAC, and you've already read uh, through all the information we have on the FAC, and you've done some of your own research, and you found uh, information on the lead-based paint uh, policies and you're under the impression that like new things are happening and it's going to greatly affect your business which makes a lot of sense based on what you read and where you're from you're from new hampshire and i know those like uh states up in that region there they're like incredibly like insane about the lead-based paint type stuff uh for you and what we're going to be doing with you lisa in ohio law it's not really going to affect your business in really any way, okay? I understand you had to take, like, courses and stuff out in New Hampshire to, to invest in real estate uh, and stay in line with the lead-based paint stuff. Not really going to be an issue here, okay? What you read is essentially that Cleveland, uh, the city of Cleveland, not the region, the city of Cleveland is starting to crack down on rental property inspections, right? And it's not like they're doing anything insane like you see in New Hampshire. It's uh, there just was so many years and, and decades really of, uh, uh, of Cleveland inspectors and the city of Cleveland letting things go, right? By law in the county of Cuyahoga County, that's where Cleveland's located in, landlords are required to register every one of their rentals. And then individual cities have registration requirements as well, okay? The city of Cleveland itself, right, they have an estimate of like 99,000 rental units in the city of Cleveland. And something like uh, 1 to 3% of them were the only ones that were registered, right? It was like something ridiculous. Like the overwhelming majority of them were not registered, right? And then the inspectors weren't going out and doing rental inspections, things of that nature. So a lot of the other suburbs, right, they were much better at enforcing this than the city of Cleveland is. So the things you've read and heard online, it's, it's the city of Cleveland finally catching up and, and doing what like other other cities have already done because Cleveland had so many turn of the century homes with lead based paint hazards and peeling paint and this or that that they really needed to get their stuff together because you know there there were you know uh, health health risks there right in Ohio in general okay you're not required to test your home for lead based paint. Uh, you are not required to do that when you sell it when you're renting it right you're just required to disclose what you know. OK, so by Ohio law, every time we sell a property, there's a lead based paint disclosure if the property was built before 1976. And in there, the seller is going to disclose. Yes, I know there are lead based paint hazards. No, there are not lead based paint hazards or I am not sure if there are lead based paint hazards. Hey, lenders, our investors are looking to work with you 
send us an email at sales at holtonwise.com. 99.9% of the real estate transactions I'm involved in, I've ever seen done. I've sold over $200 million of this stuff. Uh, everybody's unaware in writing, I am not sure. And if there's like no peeling paint uh, or any major issues, it, it's usually a non-issue, okay? It's when we get into the incredibly dilapidated homes in Cleveland uh, where, where they're like, there's water damage and there's just peeling paint and all this or that, uh, that it could possibly pose a risk. And if the inspectors are there and, and they test the paint that's peeling or they test the soil that has like peeling paint, like outside of like a windowsill, for instance, right? The soil right there. Because if you got the really old wood windows, like original wood windows that just get painted over and over and over, they're opening and closing, opening and closing. And like the little paint dust falls on the ground outside of the windowsills. So they'll dig down and they'll test that dirt sample or they'll test up there on the windowsills, okay? If they then fine lead-based paint hazards you would then need to a get rid of the hazards doesn't mean you have to totally abate the house of lead-based paint you have to get rid of the hazards which should be like encapsulating them or removing the hazards right which is just like a fancy complicated way of saying you just got to replace the windows with some vinyl windows right so it's really not going to be a big deal and for you with what you're doing with the Parma homes for doing these flips in the Parma homes, I don't really foresee lead-based paint hazards being a big issue. Uh, the properties that we've targeted all appear to be in good condition. The Parma homes uh, are a much newer housing stock than the Cleveland homes, right? We're usually talking about stuff built in the 50s. Yes, I understand they didn't outlaw lead-based paint until the 70s, but it became less prevalent Number one, number two, these homes are generally in better condition. These are homes that are typically owned by owner occupants. Yes, I understand that the five I've targeted for you are rentals, but I can assure you in the 50 to 70 years that each of these homes has been around, I would almost guarantee you of those 50 to 70 years for each of these homes, the majority of that time they were owned by owner occupants, right? Most people that have these rentals in Parma, right? They're typically your accidental landlord. They used to live in the house, then they moved out, and they didn't sell it for the price they wanted. So they thought it'd be a good idea to put a tenant in there, and now they're ready to sell, right? That is your, your typical rental property in Parma, right? Most folks that are trying to be professional rental property investors do not buy rentals in this particular city which is why, Lisa, I have targeted for you and for these flips. So I hope that gives you all the information you were looking for in regards to the lead-based paint and the things you've read about the Cleveland market. That's all I've got for you on today's show, Lisa. So let me know uh, in the private email if you'd like to make an offer on this particular property or your thoughts on any of the other four I sent you. Everybody else, if you like what I've done for Lisa and you'd like me and my team to help you start, build, or grow your own real estate portfolio, send my team an email, sales at holtonwise.com. Include your phone number. We will give you a call and walk you through the process. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Holton Wise TV for more financial information, education, and entertainment.